Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup. I've been teaching VectorWix for a long time and I've got a whole lot of tricks that I often use. One of them is to use a glow texture instead of using an actual light. In this image you can see that there's a light shining underneath my cabinets. You can see it here, it's actually leaking out between the doors and it's highlighting on the wall here and it's reflected here in my texture. But how did I make this? Let's go back to a simple rendering. Now this is shaded rendering and in shaded rendering you don't see the effect of the glow texture. Now one of the tricks I often use is I group objects together so that when I double click to edit them I can get inside those objects and I can see them without seeing everything else around. I've created a tiny little extrusion through here and the way that I made it was to grab a tool, for example the rectangle tool, and I can use this rectangle tool and I can actually use these surfaces here. If I just turn them a little bit more that way, so I'm going to snap to that corner there if I can, uh, or anywhere along here, make sure that I snap to that and come up to this corner here because this is where I want my glow texture to stop right there. So that's my object. I'm just going to make it a little bit skinnier because I want this to be replicating an LED type light. Now I need to extrude it a little bit, so I'm just going to extrude it by one millimeter or like a, a 25th or a 132nd of an inch. So it's a tiny little extrusion. This needs a texture and I'm going to create a glow texture. They're actually really simple to create. If I go to my RenderWorks textures, we should find I've already got one here that's this one here. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to recreate it. So I create a new RenderWorks texture. Uh, if this is going to be my new glow and I'm going to give it a slight color. So I'm going to give it an object attribute which is a color. I'm going to choose just a little pale yellow color like that one there, just ever so pale. Click OK. Now the trick with the glow texture is the reflectivity. Choose glow, set the glow to 300%, make sure that you emit light and it becomes very bright. OK, now I just need to assign that texture to that selected object and I can apply and it's now got that texture on it. So I exit the group, go back to the view that I had previously. Now you can see that I've rendered it but it's not showing my glow texture. So I've got a render work style which is my quick interior white. Now this actually takes, it's called quick, but it's actually not quick. It does take a while and now you can start to see the glow texture appearing underneath my cabinets. So you can see it's just starting to render, it's just rendered my little handle. This is a special handle that I made, very very thin stainless steel and now you can start to see the effect of the glow texture on my surfaces. You'll also see the glow texture reflected in my texture behind. This is my splashback and you can see the glow texture starting to reflect and you can start to see the, the color of it, the yellowish color. You can just start to see it's sort of a warm, a warm white just in this area and that's my glow texture. Now if I increase the glow texture to 500% it'll glow even more brightly. I've now changed the glow texture to 500% and you can definitely see that it's got that warm white now in the splash back and on the bench top and on that side panel. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want to see this information live, if you want to join me on my workshops, don't forget to become a member so that you can join me on my workshops and we can answer these questions live for you.